More than 18 million people watch everything, everywhere, all at once, win big at the Oscars on Sunday. And there's another big recognition for Kiwi Kwan. Variety chief correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister joins us with some predictions. I mean, I was crying when he won. And I think everybody was. I mean, you watched social media just blew up once he got his acceptance speech. And you guys have been doing some interesting reporting with him after his big win. Yes. So I was also crying. I don't think that there could be a dry eye in that audience. It seems like all throughout this whole award cycle that every time Key gets on stage, he brings out the waterworks, he brings out the emotion. But this morning, breaking news, Jamie, what? within what? the last hour, we actually have Key who, Key, he, he, we were just Kiwi saying. Kwan, right? We love the man. Yes. I'm sorry, and I'm a Wagmeister, <laughs> so I mispronounce everything. And I'm everything. a Yukis, yeah, everybody thinks go. I'm Yukis, it's fine. Key is yeah. on our cover. He oh, is me. the cover star of Variety <gasps> today. Look at there, yay! I'm so excited that we have him on our cover. Shout out to my colleague, my friend Clayton Davis, oh, our senior awards good. editor. He wrote this cover and it is such a great interview. I encourage everyone to read it. He talks about his journey, how hard he worked, how he, of course we all know by now, he was a child star and then was ousted really from Hollywood for 30 years, not because he wanted to, but because he wasn't getting the work. Right. And he actually took behind the scenes jobs. He worked on sets and he said, when is my time going to come? When am I going to get it? And he got the Oscar. Well, and that's part of, you know, in his acceptance speech, he talked about that. Yes. And I think that's what really, you know, ignited people and their emotions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, it was interesting to me. I'm somebody who I like following these kind of data points. Mm -hmm. uh, the Oscars, you know, award shows during the pandemic, mm -hmm. up some years, yep. then we watched it kind of trail off. Now mm -hmm. this year, wow, the Oscars ratings are back. They are. So over 18 million people watch the Oscars live. Now, I'm not surprised because I thought it was a fantastic fantastic show. It's been a little dark, right? Yeah. These, these shows, obviously, throughout the pandemic, we saw award shows on Zoom. Then prior to that, we saw a lot of political conversation. They didn't feel light and bright. Yes. And this show, to me, it was all about celebrating films, celebrating the best performances in the industry. But also, you had movies that people knew. I know your favorite movie, Top Gun. Maverick, yes. yes. And they won one award. One. One, I know. <laughs> they were robbed. But they, you know, they talked the box office. So they won but that Tom award. But Tom Cruise didn't show up, and I was a little upset about that. You know, I was too. We are still waiting to hear from the man himself as to why, but I would have loved to see him there. But I think even without him there, you had huge stars like Lady Gaga, who was a last minute surprise oh my goodness. performance. And that performance was everything. She doesn't need to do anything except sit up there and sing and and do her job and do it really really well yes. it was amazing yes um, before we let you go I want to yes. get Netflix just canceled the latest Nancy Myers movie what are you learning about that over at Variety this is heartbreaking news yeah. for me for all yes. of us so Father funny. the Bride one of my favorite movies of course Nancy Myers she is the rom-com queen she was behind Parent Trap it's complicated so many more and she has a film that has a star-studded cast that is in talk Scarlett Johansson Penelope Cruz, Owen Wilson, Michael Fassbender. Netflix committed to this film at $100 million, Ooh. but word on the street is that Nancy Myers says she needs a budget of $130 million, and now Netflix has passed on oh. it. We have new reporting at Variety that they are shopping this around. I have no doubt this is going to land somewhere. It's Nancy Myers, an A-list cast. Yeah. Rom-coms are really having a resurgence lately. Oh my lately. goodness, yes. So we just saw that Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher film on Netflix. We're seeing a lot of rom-coms, so I think we will see this, but this is surprising news that one of the most successful filmmakers, by the is way, a, a female, right. female filmmaker, yes. uh, was passed on by Netflix. having some trouble. Elizabeth Wagmeister, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll check in again, and if you need more information about Variety, the articles, the new cover, Elizabeth herself, just go to kcalnews.com, click Scene on TV.